Getting a legendary sword is actually really quick and easy, which was surprising to me. So what you need to do first to get this Reforging the Blade Broken Will quest, you need to first beat the main campaign of the Taken King. Once you beat the campaign, you saw at the end, I won't spoil it, but something happens at the end with Eris Morn. So once you complete the campaign and you reach level 40, you have to reach level 40, you will then go to Eris Morn and she will give you this quest. Then the next step you have to take is you have to talk to Lord Shax, that is the Crucible badass. You know, the guy that does all the voices in Crucible. Wipe them out. Elimination. He's the guy right next to Eris. And what you're going to have to do after you talk to him is you're going to have to go patrol the Dreadnought and collect Hadium Flakes. You need to get 25 of them. I would suggest going to the Mausoleum. It's just a huge open space and there are a ton of areas to get chests. You got a bunch of rooms on the right side of the room, a bunch on the left side of the room. Make sure you go in each and every one of those. And it actually goes pretty quickly, the 25, and it sounds like a lot. But it goes quick, and you can also get runes for the Court of Oryx from the chest. So, you know, you could be knocking out two things at once, you know, two things that you need. So there's going to be rooms like this on each side, left and right side of the big room. And just keep your eyes peeled, you guys. They can be all over the place. Once you get 25 Hadium Flakes, you will also need 10 Motes of Light to infuse the flakes or kind of, you know, melt them down to create the sword. So once you get all that stuff, 25 flakes and 10 motes of light, you will go back to Lord Shax and he will present you with the three legendary swords. You provide the materials right here. And there's three of them. There's an arc, there's a solar, and there's a void. They do the exact same speed, impact, range, efficiency, defense, and energy. They're all the exact same and the upgrades are the exact same. The differences are is there is an L2 guard attack where you can guard against enemy fire. So if it's an arc burn weapon, you can block solar and void really well, but not arc. And vice versa with the other ones. So, so if you have the solar sword, you can block void and arc well, but not solar. And if you have the void sword, you can block solar and arc well, but not void. So I guess it's just pick and choose which one you want to rock with. I picked solar. I didn't want to pick arc because so much stuff shoots arc and if you're susceptible to those attacks while having the arc sword, I don't know. I just picked solar. I have no idea which one's the best or if there really makes that big of a difference. I'm not sure. Now to get the sword, you are going to need materials. For the solar sword, you're going to need helium filaments. For the arc sword, you're going to need spin metal. And for the void sword, you're going to need relic iron. So if you don't have materials, then just go farm in the patrols. Relic iron is on Mars. Spin metal is on Earth. And helium filaments are on the moon. I haven't patrolled in a while. I, you know, you got to a point with the marks and you just bought the materials. It's much easier. So here we go. I bought the soul edge, which is the solar sword, like I said. Now let's see this thing out in action. Now when I popped a heavy pack, I got 30 swings. Each swing is a bullet if we want to relate it now if you do a crow to swing like i messed up i'm so used to swinging to swing across the map with the you know in the crow to raid if you it, every swing counts so you don't want to just swing to swing or else you're going to run out of ammo i don't know what we want to call these they're not bullets i mean they're sword swings but you can see it here in action i mean it wrecks and there's no r2 hit and there's no super now i'm not sure if when you get an exotic sword they might have multiple attacks, R1 and R2, and you might have a super as well. I don't know. That's just speculation on my part. I'm so used to the Crota Sword, you know, or the Relic in Vault of Glass. It has R1 and R2 attacks, and then they also have a super. But granted, those are in the raids, so that could be totally different. It could just be a simple R1 hit. And I mean, the R1 hit wrecks. It's not like it sucks or anything like that. And it's a lot of fun to use, and I mean, it cuts through enemies pretty quickly. So I highly suggest doing this quest right away. It's really quick and easy. And you're just going to be swinging around like a ninja in the patrols or any missions. I mean, it's a really fun weapon to use, guys. I hope this video was helpful and helps you knock out the quest quick and easy. Have a good day, guys. See ya.